Today, I'm going to show you how to get this nice looking rain meter skin without having to do a whole lot of work because I uh, already did it for you and I hated it. Anyways, to start off, you need to go to the first link in the description and you will see rain meter. You want to click the download final button there. Next up, you want to go to the second link in the description and you will see this DeviantArt page. You need to log in first because DeviantArt wants to sell your email. And once you do that, click on the big download button there. Now, once those bad boys are all done, open up your downloads folder and you need to install RainMeter. Click on it, click OK, and it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is just press next as fast as humanly possible. Make sure you don't press no there, you got to press yes, and I speed ran installing rain meter now you'll get a whole bunch of garbage here just right click on it and click unload skin on each one of these little pieces of go back to your downloads double click on the rain meter skin file click install go to the bottom right click on the little arrow here click on the big piece of raindrop and it'll open up rain meter you need to click on the gemini folder drop down click on main.ini and load it once you load it just drag it anywhere and click on the left x and you'll notice your wallpaper changes and a whole bunch of other stuff changes what we want to specifically do is first off, we want to orient this so it's perfectly centered. And fortunately for us, that's pretty easy because we can line up the X and the edge right there. And now we need to configure this left window. Now there are a whole bunch of things that are broken. There's weather that's broken and there's the web player that's broken. Fortunately, your boys got you covered. You need to go to the third link in the description and you need to paste in this Google Drive link. You will get all this stuff. Just click download all and download these files. Now, while that's working out and churning about, you need to go into your file explorer, go to documents, go to rain meter, go to skins, go to Gemini, then go to resources. And you see this variables thing, we need to click on it, right click and press edit. Down on this file here, you'll see player equals CAD, change that to player equals web and press control S to save it. Then press the X button. Now, next up, we need to go back and we need to go to sidebars and we see these caster and Pollux INI files. We just need to drag this window to the right, open up our downloads folder in a new window, drag that to the left and open up this little zip file, open up the folder, copy these two files and drag it into that folder and replace the files in the destination. Now, believe it or not, if you right click on rain meter skin on the rain meter skin and click refresh skin, It'll pop up, it'll center the text, and you'll have your little player thing here. Now, this is where you get to customize stuff. First off, you want to customize where the position is. So click and drag it around until it matches exactly how you want it. Once you have it exactly set where you want, right click on it, go to settings, and uncheck draggable. Do that for both of these so that you don't have to deal with it anymore. Goodness, I don't even know what I'm doing. Now that it's all done, let's explore the actual rain meter skin. So these X's indicate different workspaces. If we click on the furthest right one, it will go to the blank workspace where you have your whole entire desktop. If you click on the middle one, it will go to the work workspace as in like working and doing stuff, you know? <laughs> and anyways, what it basically does is it turns off the colors and what it also does is change the icons to the left here to be more oriented towards work and business stuff. And when you click on the left X, it will go to this nice and bright rain meter layout, which has a whole bunch of games as your shortcut. If you hover over them, you'll notice that they have pictures. Mind you, I don't think everyone has Astroneer, Fallout 4, and all these games. So how do we change that? Go into your file explorer, go to documents, go to rain meter, skins, Gemini, resources, then you will see caster variables and Pollux variables. Now, what does caster and Pollux mean? Caster is work. Think of like Fidel Castro and something about communism. People work. Pollux, on the other hand, I have no other explanation for it. Pollux is the nice bright one and caster is the dark work oriented thing. Now, you might notice that my rain meter is a little bit laggy and that's because I'm running on a virtual machine. If you have any sort of computer that can actually run stuff, you should be fine, but don't run this on your grandma's 1995 Windows Macintosh computer. That made no sense, but we're continuing on. So to change the shortcuts on this particular rain meter skin, we need to go to the Pollux variables. Mind you, we are in the colorful good morning, which means Pollux. We need to click on it, right click and click edit. So this Pollux variable file that opens up allows us to configure the shortcuts as well as a couple other things, but mostly the shortcuts on the actual rain meter skin. So we have Chrome, Discord, and Steam, and those are our first three apps, and those will always be icons. But where are these icons located? If you open up your file explorer, then you go to documents, rain meter, skins, Gemini, resources, icons, it'll open up with a whole bunch of icons. And the way to change these icons is to just change the name in app one equals or app two equals to the name of one of these 
files. So for example, let's say we have Chrome here, but we are an avid Firefox user. All we need to do is just find an icon that correlates to Firefox. So Firefox, I'm going to type it into here. I'm going to type in Firefox, then press Control S to save. Go over to the rain meter skin, right click on it and click refresh skin. And you'll notice we now have a Firefox icon. Pretty nifty. I'm gonna go back to Chrome because I am a basic B Chrome user. So I'm going to save that, right click and refresh and it will automatically update. Now, everyone will have this issue no matter what. If you click on Chrome right now, my Chrome doesn't open. And that's because you need to navigate to the path of the EXE. So how do we configure the path to actually navigate to the application? Well, go to the start menu and type in the application that you want to navigate to. So I'm doing Chrome, I'm gonna type in Chrome. Then I'm going to right click on it, click open file location, and there are two things that can happen. It'll either take you to a shortcut or it will take you to an EXE. So if it takes you to an EXE file or an application file, you need to right click it, click properties, go to security, and you need to copy this whole object name and you need to paste it into the path. Now, let's say it takes you to a shortcut and it doesn't take you exactly to an EXE. You need to right click on the shortcut, click properties, and this target file here, we just need to copy all this text in here and we need to paste it over the path. Now you notice there are quotation marks. You may or may not need to keep them depending on you know a whole bunch of different variables. If I were you, I'd just remove them because honestly, you probably won't need them. Once you do that and you need to remember to save the file, I always use control S, but that's how you do it using your mouse. You need to refresh the skin by right clicking and clicking refresh. And now if I click on Chrome, it will open up a new Chrome window. Now that we have the actual path configured, this will allow you to change a whole bunch of different things only on these top three icons. But what about everything else like the games and stuff? Well, you need to navigate to app four all the way down to app 11, and you need to change these however you want. So for instance, we have app four as Astroneer. Let's say I wanna change it to Minecraft. I'm going to change the name to Minecraft. Now, if I save it and then I refresh the skin, you'll notice it changes the name to Minecraft, but it overlays the Astroneer picture on it. That's because we need to actually add in a Minecraft picture if you want to. Mind you, you could just remove the image thing here, save, and if you refresh the skin, you'll notice if I hover over Minecraft, nothing happens. It's a little more clean, but some people just absolutely love the image. How do we change the image to show up with Minecraft or something? Well, you need to actually use your computer and search for Minecraft wallpaper or just Minecraft. Literally just pick an image that you think is cool. Now, mind you, it will need to be rectangular. And once you select your image, which is the second search result in Google, all you need to do is right click it, click open image and new tab. And when you open it, it should be 1920 by 1080 or whatever size it shows you when you hover over it. If it's not, just wait for it to load in Google, then open it. Once you have the image you want, just right click and click save image as, and you want to save it to your downloads first. Once you save it to your downloads, you can close off Chrome or revoir Chrome and open up your downloads folder. Now, if you navigate to your downloads, you want to rename the picture that you just downloaded to something convenient like Minecraft. Once you rename it, you want to copy it. Then you need to go to documents, rain meter, skins, Gemini, resources, images, Pollux, and you need to paste it in there. So after you paste in the Minecraft picture into the images and Pollux folder, you need to click on it, then right click and click properties. The main thing we're looking for is we want to know the type of file. If it is a .jpg or a .png. In this case, it is a .jpg. So what we need to do is we need to go into our Pollux variables and we need to change the image path to Minecraft. So Minecraft, and instead of a .png, it is a .jpg. So we need to change that to .jpg jpeg or .jpg and we need to press save. Now I have purposely set up an error here. Now I purposely set up an error here. If you copy and paste one of these things into a different section here, you'll notice that it says app five image, but app four is Minecraft. You need to make sure that these numbers always line up. If they do not, your images will be jambled and messed up and goodness, it'll be a headache. So make sure that all these numbers match up for each application that you want. Now that you have it perfectly set up, all you need to do is right click on the rain meter skin, click refresh. If you hover over Minecraft, 
it'll give you the background. Now, that's how you customize the shortcuts for Pollux, and you could do the same thing for Caster. It's literally the exact same process. So now that it's customized, where if I hover over Minecraft, it shows the picture of Minecraft, all I need to do is fill out the path like normal, save the file, and do that for every single shortcut. Now, I'm not going to do that because that's an absolute handful of work. There are two more things I want to go over to just fully implement the custom desktop look. First off, if you go to Caster or Pollux, you'll notice that there's this weird little line saying stuff and it's trying to be all funny funny. If you want to change whatever it says, all you need to do is go to your file explorer, go to documents, go to rain meter, skins, Gemini, resources, text. Now remember how I was talking about Pollux is the colorful one, Caster is the gray one. I want to change the text in Pollux, so I open up the Pollux text document, and you can change each one of these lines. I will show you that it works effectively by saying something basic, like subscribe to NTTS, and then saving it. All you need to do to update it is right click on the Rain Meter skin and click refresh skin. And now I'm advertising my own channel. And the last thing to do to wrap up the whole entire look of your system is to change this ugly taskbar. And to do that, all you need to do is go to the third link in the description and scroll down and you will see Rain Meter Skin Neutral. Just click on that, it will download a Rain Meter Skin, click on it and click Install. And you'll notice, oh, it centered your taskbar and made it transparent. And that is how you get a nice and clean Gemini quote unquote desktop that just Oh, it looks so beautiful. Now, mind you, you could always make it minimum. You can add a whole bunch of other stuff. You can change the font, change the icons. It is all up to you, sweetheart. And that wraps up the installation portion of the video. If it worked, like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel even further, just turn off your ad blocker when you watch my videos. And if for some odd reason it didn't work out for you, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or join my Discord and put your issue in the help channel and I will help you out as soon as I can. Now let's get on to the uninstall portion of the video. All you need to do is press the Windows key, type in add or remove programs, and then search for rain meter, click on it, click uninstall, click uninstall, press yes. And if you ever wanna go back to rain meter, do not check this box. But if you are 100% done with rain meter, you hate it, it slows down your computer or something, just click on this box, then click uninstall, and click close, and once you're done, it will go back to removing it all from your desktop. Now all you need to do is right click, go to view, show your desktop icons, then right click, go to personalize, and go back to your ugly wallpaper that oh, you just have for no weird reason. It's only because it makes this... I don't even know.